Hello. In this video, we're going to talk about casting in Java. Casting is essentially temporarily converting the data type of a variable to some other data type in as little uh, with as little loss of uh, value as possible. For example, we you all are familiar with data type called int, which is an integer and another one called float which is floating point representation say this int call a with value 5 and float b equal to 6.165 now somewhere in the program um, I realized I didn't uh, declare a correctly or for some reason I need to assign the value of B into a and or add it to a and what happens I can say a equals a plus B let's say that's what I need to do I need to add you know the value of B but B is of a different um, data type while this might work, but essentially if we might we don't know what is the value of A after this statement executes. So essentially what we would want to do here is convert since the final value or result is of type int, we want the whole thing to be of int. So A is of type int, we want to can cast B into int. So we should essentially be doing A plus int this did this int data type within brackets before b essentially tries to convert the value of b into an integer data type in this case you you see the value of b is 6.165 and java will try to do its best to convert it as without as little loss of information as possible and in this case, it will basically drop this everything which is after points because integer data type does not have decimal numbers. So it will make it 6. And therefore, the resulting value is going to be 5 plus 6 equals 11. And that's one example of how casting works. It's basically a temporary conversion of, of a variable from its original data type to some other data type. In this case, it was a temporary conversion of variable B from its original data type float to int okay so now you know you guys caught up a basic handle on what uh, casting is all about and um, we can you know it's basically essentially being a cast for a part in a movie or a play you you know when when you when you're casted in a movie y you're you're playing some uh, some role for a temporary period of time you know, when, when you're you're casting to play Shakespeare in a movie or something, you're not you, you don't really convert to being Shakespeare yourself. You're still the person you are. But for that temporary time period, you have taken up the role or the cast of Shakespeare in that play or a movie. Similarly in, in Java or any other language, when we are talking about casting, we are talking about a variable temporarily taking on the role of uh, of some other data type. So that's basic casting in a nutshell. Now, with primitive data types, uh, cast is necessarily from a inc less inclusive data type to a more inclusive data type, then it is automatically done. Essentially, uh, a cast from A to B is not, big, not that big of a deal. But a cast from uh, the other way around uh, can be confusing. So it's, it's uh, recommended that we properly cast it to make sure of with the same data type to make sure everything works fine. Let's do an example. Now we have, say, three integers, int y, it's a new one, and uh, equals int 
D. Let's assume D was a double divided by int G and G was also a double. And you know this would work fine. We are casting uh, doubles into integers and doing the division. So, and then uh, moving it and assigning the value back to y. But if, if g was double and we didn't do this cast, we would have a problem. Reason being, remember when we talked about the in the operator uh, video last time, was that the type of division, integer division or floating point division, depends on the types of the operand. So Java looks at you know int and int, it knows to do integer division. It looks at float or double, float or double, it does floating point division. But if it sees int and a and a float or a double, it, it can be tricky. And Java would basically, uh, you know, we, we we wouldn't know what what it, what it would do. So we would want to explicitly cast it in these scenarios. Another thing you could do is do the division d divided by g. In this case, these are both the you know doubles as we said earlier and then after the division is done we cast the result to int equals and this would be totally fine because it would do the floating point division because both the operands are floating point and then whatever resulting value is there it will cast it to int imagine the result of this division comes out to be 6.165 it will cast that value to int it will basically get 6 so that's simple enough but what if we do what what I was talking about talking to you about earlier y equals int a divided by uh, sorry d divided by g where d and g are both doubles we're casting one of them to int this would result in this is a big no no and it would result in something uh, syntax error so we don't want to do that so so today we learned about casting how casting works we want to cast from a usually uh, in, when primitive data types are concerned from less inclusive data type to a more inclusive data type and then it is automatically done for you um, and uh, if you do, if you have two diff is with operations uh, when using operators that depend on the operands like the division operator, if you don't correctly cast, you could get a syntax error. So that's about it. Thanks.